30 years of age eight years younger than Sarah Storey who broke the world record of 331.394 her time earlier in the qualification and this is the race for gold and Sarah Storey looking to become the most successful female Paralympian from Britain of all time she's been confident coming into this final mentioning that her weight has got down to around the 67 kilogram mark which is suitable her skin folds are the lowest they've been for a long time keeping in mind that she gave birth to her daughter Louisa three years ago so it's been a bit of a challenge to get back to this Paralympic level but Tanny Gray Thompson is the equal record holder of 11 gold medals at the Paralympics for Great Britain. If Sarah is able to win here the gold medal, that'll be 12 gold medals, and that will mean that she's the most successful female Paralympian in British history. And Sarah Story taking a comfortable lead early on nudging it up to three and a half seconds but it is early days we're not even at the 1000 meter mark yet so we certainly won't ride off crystal lane but sarah story such an experienced campaigner not just in track cycling she's competed in other events at the paralympic games she's won multiple swimming medals she won the time trial in london she won this event in london she won the road race in london she's such a legend of the sport and it's actually a great honor to see her performing here today especially when she's so obviously in good shape and extremely confident there we have it there we have it sarah's story well she won't have the opportunity to break her own record here but she's got the gold medal the most decorated female british paralympian of all time yeah five gold medals in the swimming pool and now that's four gold medals on the track in cycling and add to that the three gold medals on the road in cycling so when you tally that up that means you've got 12 gold medals to dame sarah story what a star the 38 year old and plenty of spectators would have gone to the velodrome tonight just to see a little bit of history created and already on day one we are seeing history with the gold medal meaning that Great Britain are off to a flying start there's 17 gold to be given away well not given away you have to earn it <laughs> but Great Britain have won the first two and remembering that in London Great Britain and China were equal with five gold medals Four years ago, Great Britain already has two gold in this track cycling competition. So a very, very, very strong start from Team GB.